Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, I'll be playing some Eyes Watch into Sweden 6, a matchup that I've done a bunch of times already. We got board B. This is one of our good boards, and that is because we have those two jungles that are adjacent to all of our land types. And the reason why that's important is because of Whispered Guidance. And my starting explorer, so worst explorer would be jungles, just because that is both of my city lands. And is mountains with the royal backing being jungle. Nice. Feels good to not get the hor the worst explorer starting. Um, okay, so I think what I want to do. So I could stop this this build here and then defend on B two. Only problem is I won't be able to. A little awkward very interesting maybe inside just take the blight here so what I could do is I could do something like turn one eerie noises like grow into here on e4 eerie noises like go g2 oh I see that's the only negative I won't be able to um, defend both. I guess I could eerie noises and then... Ah, I screwed. It. I'll just take the blight here. But I think I G2 top top. Just to get that consistent energy this game. We'll go eerie noises. Oh, I see. But the only negative is I want to be able to move to Han. No, okay. So it is the standard G3 play. G3, and I get a minor. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to play Guidance, and I want to be able to sh uh, shuttle my Dahan around. And we got some good cards. We got Territorial, Primal, Drift Down. I mean, Drift Down is that uh, on element um, defend. We got a Moon Plant card that adds Strife. That's a great way to stop my my B my B2. Um. Oh, except except I don't have a Sacred Site nearby, so it is not a good way to do that. I'll probably just grab. Um, drift down as a nice defend four for this um, the sands that can possibly come up next turn. And I'll be playing eerie noises so that I can push out my wetland stuff. Grab my drift down. And I believe I want to do something like these two cards. And the idea behind this, I have that one fear, so I can gather this Tahan into here, and two. And then I'll be able to um, move some Tahan with Whispered Guidance in the uh, in the slow. And then I have my Eerie Noises, such that I can push out some buildings out of my B6. Um, the reason why I'm doing all these weird Tahan moving, uh, maneuvering is I want to be able to um, avoid those Sweden escalations. And that is um, when uh, when they explore in the land of the Han, if they equal or outnumber, I lose to Han. I'm trying to avoid all of that. Good, so um, it kind of works out here. I have my Whispered Guidance. Oh, um, actually, this presence should have been in the jungle here. Um, Whispered Guidance, one fear. And my point is I want to gather all of these to Han over into this mountain here, just so I can avoid the Sweden escalations. I then have Eerie Noises, two fear. And the whole point of playing this card is such that I can stop the city build here. And if I didn't, if it was Sands, then I just don't play the card. But now, or I'm not, don't play the card. I can then um, pivot to where I use it. But in this case, I'm going to stop the city build. I'm going to throw the town over here to B5, as well as the Explorer. There is an argument to um, putting it both here if I want to double defend it, but I'm not going to. And then next turn, I'm going to G2 here into this land. Um, it does suck. Gosh, this land is going to be blighting. Well, I mean, maybe not. I actually could stop it. Ooh, that's kind of spicy. If I play just these two, oh, I don't have any moon, though. Dang. About to say I can have defend four. Yeah, no, I, I won't be able to. I'm just a little bit off. 
Did the push there, push here, we'll kill this mining rush into here, and then we hope it's not Sands. And then I think we've actually, uh, I don't know, if we, we haven't won the game, actually, no, so I should probably put the Town Explorer here. Just have a really terrible Explorer. And usually I G2 bottom bottom, going to three plays, I then play these cards. If I want to do that, probably still should do it. Go presence, presence. Playing these three cards. We have drift down, defend one. Actually, no, we'll use drift down here. And we have my innate. Oh, it's only one fear though, because I only have one moon. Well, one fear, kill the explorer with abductions, and then we'll have drift down plus my innate to defend three here. And then we'll use Boon of Watchful Guarding. Do I want to gather any Dahan? Probably not. I'll still do it. We'll do it here. I don't know. We'll do it here. Interesting. I guess that's the only downside to doing a play where I'm just extremely aggressive like this. Vents, what do we get? Um, oh, dang. That's a, I guess I could add the town. And then the town gets pushed. With the uh, the Dahan part, your cards. If I get a strife, oh, I was about to say if I get a strife here, it would um, stricken ravage cancel. Strife there, double ravage, or not double, single ravage, but add the extra blight. I got a mining rush that's Sweden five, and um, I'm really hoping for actually. There's a couple cards that suck here, right? Because sand sucks because I get escalated. Mountain sucks because that's my back to back. Jungle's probably the worst. Yeah, so I mean, actually, mountain isn't. The end of the world, it's just this land is a problem. And we're gonna reclaim. So we're actually still playing standard eyes stuff. Ooh, these are not good cards though. Yeah, renewing boon, unquenchable, poison dew, and bat scout. I guess we just grab bat scout here. And not the end of the world, but I think what we do. If we do something like these two cards this turn. And then next turn. Yeah, I think we do. do. Allows me to set up to Han, and then I have a, a, a pretty big turn next turn. Events, years of little rain. Uh, well, I actually don't think I can pay for it. Nope, I can't pay for it. I was about to say I was going to redraw it, but since I can't pay for it, well, <laughs> doesn't even matter. It's still true the water. What, is it? what a silly card. Um... I was about to say, I don't pay for it, so if I doesn't have a water, I take a Blight. But um, since it does have a water, I am okay. So, okay, so Wetland Ravage, Mountain Builds, and what is that Explorer? Jungle. Okay, so this, this game is going to be a little ch a little challenging, because I ended up getting um, the uh, that Jungle came up finally. And I wouldn't say Edge Case, because I think this has been pretty reasonable. Um, we have Bat Scout, so we're going to kill this town here with Bat Scouts. And we'll use Whispered Guidance, One Fear, and we'll gather these Dahan in. We probably will still go Blighted, though, which is kind of crazy. But now that I think about it, I think I've actually, I do go Blighted quite often in this matchup. And that's just because it's very rare for you to be able to stop all of the Ravages unless you get really lucky. Um, like, for instance, I really needed Sands to come up, but I've always been having a City Land. Um, yeah, I'll probably take three Blight here and then I'll stabilize. There could have been some mistakes that I've made this game as well. Do this. No, I don't do this because I need, um, I don't have the energy. Oh, right, because I had to put the one cost. Man, it's been such, it's been a while since I've played this spirit. Yeah, because I do this, because, um, Abductions, one fear, kill the explorer. Then I have the innate plus drift down, one fear for defend three. And then one energy, watchful guarding, defend eight. And it just barely defends everything. And this is a good card for us. We have harvest bounty, choose a land with buildings, ravage there. I'm going to choose this one. Killing these guys. Then we have coordinated strikes, killing the town. 
your cards. Strife. Well, that's a pretty good one. And there's nothing. Ravage and builds. Sands Explorer. So I think I'll be able to stop this jungle, but the problem is, is I have a second jungle. Um, let's see how it looks, though. I get to reclaim. If I get a zero moon plant, I think I can defend both. And by that, I didn't draft any plant. Yeah, so I think I still defend this. Oh, and this is this is nine damage. If I did something like these four here. That gets me defend 10, defend 8. Oh, it actually... 5, 8. It's so close. It's crazy. Well, let's grab Portents. We'll do this play anyways. We'll do Abductions, 1 Fear, Killing the Explorer, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it's actually just enough, because I can Watchful Guarding, defend um, 8 here, and then I have to defend 10 over here. That's wild. I have to defend 10 with um, Drift Down, defend 4, use my special rule, Gathering into Han. Then I have my innate 1, 2, 3 to add an extra, so it's defend 4, and then I get defend 6. And that's with my Drift Down plus my innate yeah, I have both lands fully defended. Oh, and I get to gather Dahan into here as well with my special rule. Hopefully I don't get cultural asymmed. I'm just no respect. Oh my gosh, the hard working. Just all of the extra ravages just playing right into uh, Ice's hands. But actually hard working would have been very good for us because um, I just picked bottom and um, that would actually skip one of these ravages. Um, but no, we're going to pick top here. Um, top is really good for us as well. Uh, we get to add a town. We're going to add that over here to this. Um, add it to this mountain here, just because we know the mountain already came up, so we know we don't have, we don't have to worry about it. I then get to push two to Han. I'm going to go with um, the two four two. So I'll go to Han and to Han, and then ravaging the land with the most invaders. Ooh, actually, I got to be careful here. I got to go here. With both the Han, because um, I got to make sure I can kill the cities because the strife will fall off. So I ravage here. Yep, so I had to do that play. Okay, fear cards. Don't think that matters. Well, it actually would. Um, but. Okay, too many monsters. We'll remove this explorer. Okay, and let's ravage here. It's kind of funny. I could. Can I fast fear bomb? All that's dead. Yeah, I think so. So I think what I'm supposed to do is do two damage here. And the damage will stick. And then I can play Abductions and snipe the city. Okay, so Sands build. And I think I'll have enough for Fear Win. Wetlands, explore with an Escalation. Okay. Whispered Guidance, one Fear. And we will gather these to Han. This. Time passes. I'm just going to reclaim here. Very standard eyes stuff. They reclaim. Oh, there's the zero moon plant. Um, I think that's needed. So let's grab this. Actually, let's grab. Actually, we'll see. We'll see if I have enough. We have this, 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 and this. This enough to get my. I think it might be enough here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, nine fear. Yep, that wins the game. So. We have portents, so two fear. We have abductions, one fear. Killing the city. And then we have the innate for three fear. And that's it. GG. Um, it's funny, I just said, you know what? This card's not going to matter. And it ended up mattering because it um, this card ends up keeping the health uh, or damage invaders. Uh, they stay damaged until the next turn. So yeah, I mean, it ended up working out. Um, what went wrong? I mean, I thought it would go blighted, but I, I, I just ended up pulling it out. Um, we got lucky. Jungles didn't come up early. Um, we were vulnerable to Sweden Escalations for that one turn. That was a one out of five chance that we got hit on B3. 
Coastal didn't come up early, which is nice. It's the next, oh, we, yeah, we completely dodged Coast. But, uh, I mean, yeah, a very solid matchup. Eyes um, has a lot of tech into this just because we can move to hot around. If you guys like this video, like, subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video.